Let's think about what it means to take 8 thirds and divide it by 1 third. So let me draw a number line here. So there is my number line. This is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. Maybe this is 3 right over here. And let me plot 8 thirds. So to do that, I just need to break up my each, each hole into thirds. So let's say it's 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, 4 thirds, 5 thirds, 6 thirds, 7 thirds, 8 thirds. So right over here. And then of course, 9 thirds would get us to 3. So this right over here is 8 thirds. 8 thirds. Now one way to think about 8 thirds divided by 3 is, what if we take this length and we say how many jumps would it take to get there if we're doing it in jumps of 1 third? Or essentially we're breaking this up. If we were to break up 8 thirds into sections of 1 third, how many sections would I have or how many jumps would I have? Well, let's think about that. If we're trying to take jumps of 1 third, we're going to have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight jumps. So we could view this as, we could view, I mean do this in a different color, do it in this orange. So we took these eight jumps right over here. So we could view eight thirds divided by one third as being equal to eight. Now why does this actually make sense? Well when you're dividing things into thirds, for every hole, you're now going to have three jumps. So whatever value you're trying to get to, you're going to have that number times three jumps. So another way of thinking about it is that eight thirds, eight thirds divided by, divided by one third is the same thing as eight thirds, eight thirds times three. And we could either write it like this, we could write times three like that, or if we want to write three as a fraction, we know that three is the same thing as three over one. And when we already know how to multiply fractions, eight, multiply the numerators, eight times three, so you have eight, let me do that, that same color, you have eight times three in the numerator now, eight times three, and then you have three times one in the denominator, three times three times one in the denominator, which would give you 24 thirds, which is the same thing as 24 divided by three, which once again is equal, is equal to, is equal to, is equal to eight. Now let's see if this still makes sense. Instead of dividing by one third, if we were to divide by two thirds. So let's think about what eight thirds divided by two thirds is. Divided by two thirds. Well, once again, this is like asking the question, if we wanted to break up this section from zero to eight thirds into sections of two thirds or jumps of two thirds, how many sections or how many jumps would I have to make? Well, let's think about it. One jump, just in a different color. We could make one jump, that's the same color as my eight thirds. We could do one jump, my computer is doing something strange. We could do one jump, two jumps, three jumps, and four jumps. So we see eight thirds divided by two thirds is equal, is equal to four. Now, does this make sense in this world right over here? Well, if we take eight thirds and we do the same thing, saying, hey, look, dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by a reciprocal, well, let's multiply by three halves. Let's multiply by the reciprocal of two thirds, so we swap the numerator and the denominator, so we multiply it times three halves, and then what do we get? In the numerator, once again, we get eight times three, which is 24, and in the denominator, we get three times two, which is six. So now we get 24 divided by six is equal to four. Now, does it make sense that we got half the answer. If you think about the difference between what we did here and what we did here, these are almost the same except here we really just didn't divide or you could say you divided by one, while here you divided by two. Well, does that make sense? Well, sure, because here you jumped twice as far. You jumped twice as far, so you had to take half the number of steps. And so in the first example, you saw why it makes sense to multiply by three. When you divide by a fraction, for every whole, you're making three jumps. 
So that's why when you divide by this fraction, you multiply, or when you divide whatever's in the denominator, you multiply by it. And now when the numerator is greater than one, every jump you're going twice as far as you did in this first one right over here. And so you would have to do half as many jumps. Hopefully that makes sense. It's easy to think about just mechanically how to divide fractions. Divide, taking 8 thirds divided by 1 third is the same thing as 8 thirds times 3 over 1. Or 8 thirds divided by 2 thirds is the same thing as 8 thirds times 3 over 2. But hopefully this, this video gives you a little bit more of an intuition of why this is the case.